One of News 8's biggest community partners is the San Diego Foundation, and one of the proudest achievements in our partnership was helping them raise $64 million for local nonprofits as we all struggled through the pandemic together. And today, the San Diego Foundation and the Brookings Institution, one of the top-rated think tanks in the country, are also joining together for a first-of-its-kind partnership. So their goal? helping to address the region's biggest problem and secure the federal dollars needed to make that happen. And we're talking about money for housing, broadband equity, road and highway improvements, and much more. Here's News 8's Kirsten Holmes. Organizers with the San Diego Regional Policy and Innovation Center say that COVID-19 revealed a lot of inequities in our area, but they want to turn those dollars that were meant for relief into resilience. How do we help get water and broadband into communities that are struggling to afford their utility bills and also struggling to keep kids connected and in school? Shalini Vachala is the executive director of the new San Diego Regional Policy and Innovation Center. It's their job to build partnerships across the county with organizations aimed at tackling our area's problems like housing and infrastructure. We had these problems before, the pandemic made them worse. And now we have an opportunity where there is a huge amount of federal spending, where we can pull money to the region, solve the immediate needs, but also help shift the direction of the region so that we don't still have these problems here after we get through the pandemic. Earlier in the pandemic, the San Diego Foundation and News 8 were able to raise $64 million for local nonprofits to help people across San Diego County get through the pandemic. That partnership was key to making sure low-income workers, families, and vulnerable communities most affected by the pandemic got the relief they needed. Susan Gwynn, president and CEO of the San Diego Regional Policy and Innovation Center, says having this new partnership with the Brookings Institution is vital to our region's relief post-pandemic and beyond. They're going to work with our uh, county and 18 municipalities and our agencies in the region to figure out consensus and where we go from here so that we are one of the few places in the country that can access hundreds of millions of dollars to improve lives. The money they're looking for is federal dollars that the government is willing to give to local governments to help with big projects. And in order to make San Diego's pitch more attractive, they had to create a new nonprofit, the Regional Policy and Innovation Center, which teamed up with the Brookings Institution to figure out exactly what San Diego County needs and how those federal dollars will help. We have to go after it. Um, so there is money that's already come out here, but we have to actually get ourselves organized as a region to go after these hundreds of millions of dollars. How much money are we talking? Officials say billions or even trillions. This is more money than we've seen since the, the Roosevelt years. And it's probably the most amount of money that will be available in our lifetimes. It's not just about transportation or housing. It's making sure that a recent grad can afford a new home and get to their job without it taking two hours. Officials say that the changes won't be felt overnight but they guarantee us that those changes will be worth the wait. Kirsten Holmes, News 8.